and 737 APU startup procedure can be found on the brake riding checklist, which is found in GOM, the RON guide, MePubs, and there's also a copy on the flight deck. But it's very difficult to find that. Turn the DC rotary switch to the battery position to, and ensure that you have a minimum 22 volts. Then turn the DC meter to the TR1 position. Turn the AC rotary switch to the APU Gen position. Turn the battery switch on. Perform the fire warning test. Push the two toggle switches inboard. Navigation position lights in the on steady position. The APU generator switch both on one at a time. Pull out and push down. The APU bleed switch is in the off position. Tank 1 fuel boost pump forward in the on position. Hold the APU master switch in the start position for 5 seconds then release it back to the run position. Monitor the APU exhaust gas temperature to ensure that you do not go over the maximum red line. APU generator switches both on one at a time. Now watch these highly trained professionals perform the procedure. Okay. Battery switches up to straight up TR1 and APU generator. Batteries on and fire test. Let's see. And this one over here to make sure you get three green lights. You're good. And then to start the APU, the APU generator switches. Pull it down, hold it for 1001 and release it. And the one next to it, 1001 and release it. And then the APU master switch. Hold it down for 1,005 and release it. And then we're watching. We're watching what gauge. Uh, right now, we're just let. You'll hear it start firing up uh, in this light. Okay. Uh, we'll light up when it's ready to uh, start up again. Sometimes it's very pale. You can't even hardly tell it. Okay. See how dim these two are right now. Right, how about the exhaust uh, gauge? Okay, we're down here. Oh, this one. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah. Okay, now once that light comes on, pull these back down one at a time. And your APU is up and running. Okay. And number one fuel pump on. Your system B electric hydraulic pump on, and those two gauges should be in the green. So you have hydraulic pressure and hydraulic or brake pressure and hydraulic pressure. Air pack switches in the off position, APU bleed switch off, ground powered as required. Monitor APU exhaust gas temperature 350 or below. APU master switch off. Emergency lights off, confirm out. Number one tank fuel boost pump forward off. Battery switch off. Now, this is the APU shutdown. Okay, all right, the emergency brake set. Red beacons off, fuel pump off, hydraulic system B off, then the APU master switch off. We already had the bleeds off. Yeah. Give it a few seconds. Emergency lights are off. And turn your main batteries, flip off, flip the black flip up and then the switch and we are done.